Okay guys, thought I'd show you my wood gas stove that I use for camping that I've designed. Spent a while on the design and I think this design's a winner. So I'll just show you how it works. Um, basically we've got a little pot stand. This is a flame concentrator ring that sits on the top. Inside we have our little combustion chamber. It's got 10 5mm holes at the top and 6 2.8mm holes at the bottom. Inside that we have another little container for directing the airflow and inside there there's another container and we've got a fan. So what happens is the air goes in here from the fan the only way it can get out is through these gaps at the top. So it comes over the gaps, it goes outside of the can, up, over. Then the only place it can go is around the outside of this tin and up through the bottom. And then it goes in through either these holes at the bottom, which are for combustion, or it comes out these holes here which are for secondary combustion which basically ignites the gas or the smoke that makes it burn cleanly so that there's no smoke and it's nice and efficient. So if you want to build one of these yourself you basically have to make sure you get four tins that are just getting slightly larger in diameter and then it's just a matter of hitting it with some scissors really and a small drill maybe a step drill makes it a bit easier so then what you do is you get some sticks you just break off little pieces of sticks and fill it up I'll stop it for a second and restart in a moment okay we're back again so here's our container with sticks in it let's fill it up to just below the holes then for lighting it, I usually put some sticks in a teaspoon or two of metho and put those on top. Maybe put a few more sticks on top of that. Um, I think I'll put my flame concentrator on top. And we'll just light that one and let it burn for a minute or so. Actually, I'll start that time. Okay. So once we reckon it's really on fire, we can turn the fan on, so maybe about now. You know if you're too early because it'll go out. Okay, that looks like it's going pretty well. So we'll let that run for a minute or so. If we put the pot on now, it'd probably make the pot a bit black. But the idea of these wood gas stoves is you basically starve the primary combustion of oxygen and then you have hot air being blown into the top of the chamber and that ignites the smoke and by doing it that way you end up with an almost smokeless burn. Okay, so we'll put the pot holder on top. Okay, it's starting to look pretty good now. Alright, now I've got um, a pot here with two cups of water in it. So we'll see how we go. Last time I tried this there was virtually no soot on the bottom of the pot so we'll see how we go this time. 
we'll leave it for a little while until it gets boiling. Okay, so while we're waiting for it to boil, I thought we'd talk about the design. Um, most of the designs you see um, have a combustion chamber like this and have a tin on the outside and the air basically goes into the bottom of the tin, into the holes in the bottom of the combustion chamber. The sticks just burn slowly in here and release a bit of wood gas or smoke if you like and the hot air that comes up the side ignites the gas and makes it burn. If you have the air ratios right, 5 to 1 I think, if you have the air ratio right then this will just smolder down here and make smoke and this will burn up all of the wood gas and you'll have a nice clean burn, no black on the pot. With mine I thought I'll try and make more heat so I put in an extra path for the air to go in. So now the air goes in here, up the side, down and then into the normal burner up, up here or up the sides here. So the air gets more chance to get heated up nice and hot. And I also put the flame concentrator on top. So this holds some of the heat in, keeps it hotter inside, makes it burn better. Um, what else? We've got some of the details in here just going over. So we've got six 2.8 meter holes at the bottom where the primary air comes in. We've got 10 5 mil holes here. They're two centimeters down from the top edge. Um, these are the tins that I used. Uh, the total weight is about 300 grams, of which 80 grams is the fan and battery, about 220 grams is the tin. This is how I made my pot stand, so just two pieces of metal, the steel, that slot together. Um, the idea of having the fan is it basically just makes it burn hotter and a more stable flame, more controllable, and it's not really that much heavier. Not much extra weight or complexity to make it work. Most of the designs you see on the internet have lots and lots and lots of holes here. So they're really not really burning like a wood gas stove, it's more like a forge. It's just lots of air makes lots of heat. But the problem I found with that is always that it just makes your pot really black and it tends to get smoky. Whereas having the right ratio, the 5 to 1 airflow, so one part airflow down at the bottom, five parts airflow at the top, that seems to work for a much better burn. Okay, it's about 10 minutes later and it's boiling. Um, I had a phone call then so I couldn't start videoing as soon as it started boiling but you get um, the basic idea and in theory it's still relatively cool on the outside because the air is going up the outside first and then down and getting heated and then up again and getting heated more. So the air that's on the outside is pretty cool so it shouldn't burn the ground or anything like that. So there we have it. That's my stove. Okay, it's about six or seven minutes later. Now it looks like the wood gas burning, wood gas production has pretty much stopped. So there's no real visible flames coming out. There's, um, there's still enough heat to boil to keep it simmering. Not enough for a strong boil, but enough to simmer. So, yeah, I think normally you probably get about almost 10 minutes or so of boiling time for two cups in one batch. If you really wanted to, you could throw some more sticks in, It'd probably make a bit of smoke, but uh, there you go. Okay, I just thought I'd show you the bottom of the pan, just so you can see that there's hardly any soot, which means the burning has happened very efficiently. Um, that's what it looks like inside with the flame concentrator and the pot holder taken off. So we've still got a fair bit of heat there. Not enough to reboil water, but enough to keep something hot. And uh, you can just pull out the fan unit whenever you don't need the fire anymore.